the Le Antonio Foundation Scholarship, there is the Melo FM Scholarship, and there is the Suzette Brown Scholarship. Suzette Brown is here. She wears many hats. So I don't want... First of all, cameras, grab Le Antonio in the picture, and then we just run him out of here. Right? No, look, take a picture. Then we get him out of view, and we call him back. That's how we're going to do it. Yes, you got the shot? Did you get the picture? Because it's all Suzette Brown right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> I will call him within minutes to compliment Suzette Brown. So this is just the presentation. Uh-oh. This is the Suzette Brown Scholarship. And since Suzette Brown is making the presentation to Shemar Thelwell. <laughs> Suzette Brown, you will want your own microphone. I commend your spirit, yes, for the city of Montego Bay. You wear so many hats. And what the political world, what Montegonians are not aware of, they are not aware of your philanthropy, as in the scholarship. Big word, I'm telling you, my girl. The Suzette Brown Scholarship presented to Shemar Thelwell. Tell me, how did it take shape? Did Laurentonio Foundation nudge you? Say, guess what, Suzette? We're coming bigger for this back to school, you know. Tell me the story. Basically, I was contacted by the CEO, Mr. to ask my support, my support, my support for that scholarship. And, I mean, who could say no? Who could say no? And having said that, now that you're here, you feel the energy. Yes, I feel the energy. And I think I'm always supporting my education in pretty much all its form. Because for me, it is still a kind of short time in it of getting used to yourself and for public. Before you go, Suzette, for the Suzette Brown Scholarship, I want, in at least 30 seconds, your empowerment to Shemar Thelwell winning the Suzette Brown Scholarship. What do you have for Shemar? I'm basically encouraging Shemar. You understand? To make you Where are you, Shemar? Ah, yes. To make use of the scholarship. I know, you know, by certain standards, it's not a lot of money, but it can help. I have to serve that at very least it can buy two textbooks. And I'm encouraging to make good use of it. Don't take it for granted and continue to support. Um, I know he comes to the resource center here and continue to be a part of. And then even afterwards, you know, continue to contribute to the building of the mayor. Because I know a lot of us, you know, and especially the younger ones, they are so looking forward to getting a, you know, to school and all of that and then going abroad. But you can make life right here to, in Jamaica. And at the end of the day, I'm certain that a lot of people want to return when they're older and unable to really make any real meaningful contribution. I want to encourage them to stay here and be Shamar, uh, are your parents here? Huh? She's at work. Oh, ma mommy's at work, yes. Did you know you're the recipient, you're the winner of the scholarship? Wow. When, so when you complete all of what you're doing at Laura Antonio, what do you dream to be? What are you thinking of in terms of profession? When you get out of school, what are you thinking? Military side. You want to join the military? Wow, wow, wow. Listen, today, August 11, 2014, he says he wants to join the military. You see those F-1 fighter planes that the Americans have? My Virgin here will fly one of them in. You understand? Now, when you graduate from military school, I don't want your teeth for the plane come to land a man to me. Come say hi to the Virgin I say, Virgin, you remember at the broadcast? I mean this, you know. Well, Talk to your superior if you want the plane to fly come to Montego Bay when you graduate. Right? 
Go on, fly with the people and play in Germany. Right? By the way, you can fly plane, play. Huh? Here you are. Alan, come over here quickly. Some things need to brush off on this young man. Suzette Brown as well. When we were in school, we used to fly plane in a school and make paper plane. What's wrong with this man? That's what I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> tell him about the paper plane breakthrough. Yes, man. Boeing 747. Paper plane. Paper plane. <laughs> Soldier paper plane. Yes. Ambulance paper plane. All paper plane. So hold on. You yeah. didn't get in trouble in school flying paper plane. Sometimes when it's stuck in the people's face. Eh? <laughs> Did you ever fly a paper plane? I didn't lick teacher in our head. Well, no. The class off up. Yeah. And teacher wants to know, oh, who fly the plane? Exactly. Brethren, yeah. me get two licks for them thing there, you know? Yeah. Trust me. You know? True, true. Teacher clap me in the doctor love. And she have a nerve to hit me with my ball in front of the class. And after school, I love after me, you know? Did you beat you? <laughs> so said that didn't happen to you? Come on. Watch it. That 